Everyone, this is our first video blog of the year. Happy New Year to you and your family. I wish you all the best in 2022. I wish you a better year than in 2021. We're here in the Byward Market in January. It's always challenging for restauranters uh, this month, usually, and it's even more with the restrictions that are ongoing. So we're, we're meeting with local businesses to understand how we can continue to support them as we start the year. Hi, I'm Oz from Oz Cafe. Oz, thank you so much for taking the time today. Thank you for having me. Obviously the last two years, wow. Challenging. <laughs> Share with us a bit uh, of how it's been for you and the team here. Yeah, of course. So we, we're, we're weathering the storm as a lot of our industry friends are. Um, it's definitely been challenging. It's been, there's been, I think initially the, there's been very like, the information trickling down took time. So in the meantime, I'd have my staff coming to me to be saying like, what's happening? Are we, do we have jobs? So it took it was a little frustrating try it, the first wave trying to get all the information to, yeah. to disseminate to them to say what's our next course of action. If well, someone wants to help, go to your website, make an order. Yeah, you can give us a call. You can check out our Instagram, Oz Cafe, O Z K A F E. <laughs> um, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we post weekly what our date night menus are, which are our four course dinners for forty five dollars a person uh, for Friday, Saturday, Sundays. We have a different menu each weekend, so. That's been proving to be popular, and uh, yeah, we have a bottle shop available where we're selling some of our inventory off. You sure. know, just uh, just uh, doing what it takes to, to get Keep through. Come in and yeah, exactly. Hello, my name is Adam. I'm the owner of BB's Middle Eastern Kitchen. Adam, thank you for taking the time today. I'm excited to meet you. I'm a, a regular here at BB's and picking up the great food. I love the fries. I love the wraps. Off the camera, we we're just saying how amazing it smells in here right now. <laughs> Uh, it'll be great to sit in a restaurant and really enjoy the experience. Share with us the month of January, how you're doing, how we can help. Absolutely. You know, January, typically a quieter month in restaurants, uh, but what's nice is we have a large selection of takeout orders right now. So you can visit us on our website, eatatbbs.com, find us on our Instagram, at eatatbbs. Uh, but guests can find us uh, on Skip the Dishes, on Uber, DoorDash. You can call into the restaurant, uh, or you can order directly from our website as well, eatatbeebies.com. So the support from the community has been tremendous. We're always extremely, extremely appreciative of it. And uh, they can find us throughout all of our social media as well. Hi, I'm Daniela. Welcome to the Soka Kitchen in Beachwood. Daniela, thank you so much for welcoming us here at Soka Kitchen. It's amazing the transformation of this space. So when we first moved into the space, uh, it was during the pandemic. So we definitely have a new approach to business just because we were kind of forced into this. Uh, we created a different, three different areas within one space. So we share the restaurant with Plantain Cartel, which is Soka's uh, little sister restaurant. It's more of a fast food approach. It's uh, basically a menu based on plantain sandwiches. Love them. Um, yeah, they're very, very nice. And it's kind of like a you know, casual setting where you come in, you order right at the bar, and then you sit down, we bring your food, but it's just a more casual approach to it. Then we also developed the Mercado, which is what you see here. We have a bunch of uh, Spanish specialty products, as well as our own in-house made like, sauces. We have our frozen products as well, and charcuterie items. Um, so it's a, it's a nice touch when you come into dinner, you can always like stop by the Mercado and pick a couple of things just to take home. And then on the other side of the restaurant, we have our traditional Soka Kitchen. So you can always visit on our website at www.thesokakitchen.com as well as follow us on social media on Instagram at The Soka Kitchen as well as Facebook and Twitter at The Soka Kitchen as well.